KFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a mixed bag out there. You've got the uh, Russell down 13, the Nasdaq composite off 27. Otherwise, the other US indices are trading to the upside. Dow's up 90 points, about a quarter percent. Less than one tenth percent, or four points for the S and P. Ten per ten points for the uh, Nasdaq. That's also less than one tenth percent out there. Semis are up nearly eight tenths, or thirty seven points. You've got gold trading up twenty six bucks, with silver being flat. Lights recruit is up eight pennies. Natural gas is flat, and the thirty year Treasury is uh, back twenty three ticks, printed out at one sixteen oh one. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini. What do we have here? You've got that A to B equals CD pattern to the upside, waiting for a bearish reversal candle to confirm a sell the D point uh, top out there. If we don't get that, its next price target to the upside would be 52.78. Spot volatilinix has hit a potential level of support, and that is a trend line. If we open up the chart out here, you'll see that trend line. You'll see two different trend lines that we've got out here, price hitting that, and so not unusual to see the market pulling back. We really need to see what the candles look like at day's end. The NQ, similar condition to the ES Mini. It's at its one-to-one -one price objective of saying to be equal CD. Right now, that's a doji candle, but we don't know. It could turn into a bearish shooting star um, and if we did get a, uh, a bearish reversal candle then that would also generate a sell the D point top now both the ES and the NQ are trading above profile um, resistance to top their profiles those will be targets to the downside if you take a look at the US dollar index it's just consolidating with inside its daily profile we don't expect that to change anytime soon because this new profile formed within the prior profile it says get ready for a consolidation move gold is off of its highs out there but it's still trading above the center of both its daily and weekly uh, bullish profile structure out there so I would say a close today above 2347 yeah 2347 is going to suggest a run to the 2420 the 2448 level if you take a look at silver it uh, had a profile daily profile change in trend yesterday it still maintains that message now it suggests that it wants to make a run for 2951 light sweet crude is consolidating with inside its daily profile that's after forming a buy the d point pattern a couple of days ago resistance up at 8031 natural gas is trading in its consolidation breakout measured move wants to get up to the 240 level and if we take a look at 30 year treasury it's run into both profile and trend line resistance just a consolidation support at 115.14, resistance 116.27. Folks, please stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Friday, have a fabulous weekend, a fabulous Friday, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.